Captain, I am the Octopus. You and your cargo are now under my control. Further resistance is useless. Do we have what we came for? Good. Then we set sail at once for my underwater lair. The 21st century faces a new kind of threat. Old school spies have had their day and MI9 must create a new breed of skilled undercover agent. Hidden in a place no villain will think to look. Welcome to MI High. All right, everyone to the shallow end, please. Good. Let's begin with the breaststroke. A nice frog's leg kick, everyone. This is a joke. Yes, I'm sorry. It's just that Mrs. King has issued new health and safety guidelines. What? That we can't swim in water? You've seen them. Next thing you'll be saying, can't kick a football in case we hurt our feet. How did you know? I suppose some wimp like Rose complains. Hey! I enjoy swimming too. That's enough talking, everyone. T. We're to investigate a series of pirate raids in British waters. Piracy? What, you mean like in the Pirates of the Caribbean? That was a movie. These guys are for real. Their attacks are deadly and effective, and they know exactly what they want. Here's a list of what's been stolen. Hydrogen? Enriched plutonium, but these are things you'd need to make a nuclear warhead. All that's missing is uranium. A ship called the Andover is passing through British waters today. She's carrying uranium rods. It'll be your mission to protect her and her cargo. But you'll be handing the mission from HQ, right? I'm afraid not. Agent London has a conflict of interest, so I'll be in charge. I had a cousin, Charlton. He was a submariner. We worked together designing and building his own special submarine. You said you had a cousin. Charlton used the sub for monitoring marine life as part of a conservation project. One day he was... He was lost at sea. And he's never been found. Sorry. You'll be travelling through the very same waters in which he disappeared, and I can't risk Agent London being distracted. But Frank wouldn't be distracted. The decision has been made. London. Chief Stark has agreed I can remain in charge of mission gadgets. A Morse code, send and receive glove. You already know Morse code, of course, from your training. You'll be inside a miniature submarine, a bit of a pet project of mine. <clears throat> Oscar, you'll be in charge. In charge? We're a team. Yes, but Oscar is the only one with the relevant experience. Undercover submission in the Baltic. Met a Russian admiral who taught me everything. Everything? <laughs> Steering is actually pretty easy. Just keep your eyes on the road. The ocean. the ocean. I know what I'm doing. Stark put me in charge, remember? Rose, lock off compression unit. Aye, aye, Captain. What is your position? We're down 10 metres, maintaining contact with the Andover. Mayday, Mayday! This is the Andover. We are under attack. Repeat, we are under attack. Did you hear that? Come in, please. What happened? All communications are down. We need to get to the Andover quick. What's that? Something's outside. Something big. Looks like a shark. That was a big shark. Oscar, gas out of here! Engine's not responding. That's no shark. Look! A giant tentacle. If that's a tentacle, how big's the rest? Switching to anti-squid stun mode. You did it. Use the stun mode again! It's no good. I've lost all control. Whatever it is out there, it's dragging us down. London, what's happening? I need our help. What are 
are you doing? We need to reach the team. I'm building a new communicator that will work at extreme depths. But our boffins have been trying to do that for years. So it's time someone succeeded. Resistance is futile. Seems our nets have landed three little sprats. Welcome aboard, the naughty lass. They really think they would defeat us, Nelson. So, you're the pirate who's been attacking our ships? Pirate? I prefer to be known as the Octopus. Rather neat, don't you think? The Octopus being something that attaches itself to its prey and then drags it down to the depths. That's what they call that from under rocks. Show some respect to the creatures of the sea. These stupid land lovers will wish they never crossed tentacles with us. Eve, we dive to 20,000 leagues. Oui, mon capitaine. If I could just have your attention for a few moments whilst I run through the new safety procedures. What? In case the classroom crashes? No, Davina. In case we have to evacuate the school in a hurry. Now, first I want you to check the nearest exit to you. Now, that might be a door or a window. (laughs) (laughs) Giving safety demonstrations is quite dangerous. (laughs) What's that ringing sound? We have to test it once a day. Dare I suggest these new rules are going a touch too far? Oh, no. These are just the first steps to making St. Hope's a safer working environment. What's this for? We're only going downstairs. Ah, yes. uh, Apparently, um, descending more than three steps requires protective headgear. This is crazy. Yeah, this helmet will ruin my hair. You're treating us like little kids. They may have a point. Oh, I thought you, at least, might share my desire to keep our children safe from a dangerous world. The uranium rods have been unloaded, Mon Capitan. You can begin assembling the bomb. What? You can't start building a nuclear bomb. Are you insane? No, I'm not. But what would you call a world that persecutes porpoises, harasses haddocks, and spoils our magnificent seas? Whatever crazy plan you have, this is not the answer. You know nothing about the oceans or how to protect them. (sighs) Eve, take them to the cells. What will happen to us? That is for the captain to decide. But I wouldn't like to be in your, how you say, shoes. <laughs> Mrs. King's gone well too far with his rules. It's taking away our freedom, isn't it? Don't worry. I think I've got a plan. I ask you to protest as free pupils. Miss King's rules has taken away our freedom. I've been stopped from spinning vinyl because of the sharp edges. And I've been banned from wearing heels over half an inch. But we'll get detention if we have a protest march. Yes. March, then we may get detention. Do nothing, and you might avoid the knee pads and the life jacket for a while. But are you willing to trade in all those days of safety gear and plastic cutlery for one chance, just one chance that we can come back here and tell our teachers that they may take our knives, but they will never take our freedom? What do we want? Danger! When do we want it? Now! What do we want? Danger! When do we want it? Now! Uh, What's the meaning of this? We want you to rethink the safety rules. We? I think you're being very irresponsible, Avril. Now, come and help me put some speed restriction cones in the corridor. Will you hurry up with that thing? They've been out of contact for too long. I'm going as fast as I can. Isn't a science team of the world that's managed to crack this problem? Yeah, well, you need to, and fast. 
I must find out why the Andover has fallen off the radar screens. Oh, this mission's in meltdown. Yes, finally. Permission to call my team? Of course. Get on with it. Frank, how did you manage to get through? Well, never mind that. Where are you? We're not on the sub anymore. Long story. It'll have to wait. Good. I see you enjoyed your last meal. What do you mean, last? I'm sorry, but I can't run the risk of you escaping. Look, maybe we could do a deal. <laughs> deal? It's been tried, but mankind can't be trusted. Colonel Nelson. He agrees. I must leave you now. Once I turn off the oxygen to the cells, you have about... Mm, 30 minutes supply. Enjoy. We're almost ready, Nelson. The noble dolphin, the majestic whale. Lobsters like yourself, they had no one to protect them until I came along. Voila. It is done. Good. We prepare the naughty lass for immediate launch. Our friends in the ocean will soon be safe. But those who persecuted them should be very worried. Time we revealed our intentions. Incoming message. Incoming message. This is a message from the octopus to the governments of the world. You were the stewards of the oceans, but you have destroyed everything in them. The sea-going mammals, the schools of fish, the Great Barrier Reef. Well, no more. I am en route to fire a bomb at Antarctica's largest ice cap, flooding the world forever. The beautiful oceans that make up 70% of this planet will finally be safe. Stark here. The UK government has received a message from some madman called the Octopus. He plans to blow up Antarctica with a nuclear bomb. We know. We're in his base right now. We've got a small problem to overcome first. We'll call you back. Tell him not to hold his breath. What are you doing? I'm trying to find a way out of here. I know that's probably the captain's job. Don't waste your energy arguing. Just do it. This has to be the weak point. They're metal. <sighs> Not even Carrie's karate could kick us out of this. This is as I thought. They've been weakened by salt erosion. It's just a chance. Oscar, take off your watch. Oscar! First they hung up on me, and now they won't call back. Probably very busy dealing with that maniac. Something's gone very wrong. Oscar, don't sleep. Stay with us. You have to stay awake. Coated. A weaker spar with metal corroding acid. Made out of food, fizzy drink and a watch battery. Rose?
Well, Capitan, the bomb is loaded and we are on course for our target. Not long now, Nelson, until we transform the world forever. There's no sign of the octopus or the nuclear bomb materials. The naughty lass is missing too. Team, what's happening? The octopus has left his HQ. We're going after him. An underwater pursuit. They'll need our help. But I don't see what we can do. Huh. I knew it was here. It's a tactics book written by my late cousin Charlton. Tactics from a dead man. Great. But he can't be much good if he was lost at sea. He was a genius. And what's your alternative, hmm? Let the octopus blow up Antarctica. Team, I've got something that might help. Charlton's manual on submarine warfare. Great, but how do we read it? We lose all communications whilst we dive. I'll send the basics through via the Morse code glove. I'm not sure my knowledge of Morse code is up to it. Can you mark down the dots and dashes and I'll translate them? Thanks, Rose. What am I, your PA? I can see the naughty lass. She's diving. We'll have to follow. Prepare to dive. You're gonna love it. The world will be one giant aquarium. There is someone coming after us. It's the mini submarine. Impossible! They had no oxygen! Right. We will finish them off once and for all. There's a nuclear bomb on board. We cannot risk a fight. Fight? No. By dropping depth charges, we blast them out of the water. Turn around! I'm picking up solar activity from above. Depth charges. Crew to positions. Hold tight. Don't worry. We'll come through this. I don't see how. Rose and I deciphered those submarine tactics, Frank said. When under depth charge attack, it says you go silent. Cutting engine. So, we've got no engines, but you're still right above us, throwing those depth things. It's a risk we'll have to take. Nothing. Maybe they've gone? No, they're still there. But they're smarter than I gave them credit for. They're using the silent tactic. No engines. No communications. So what do we do? Wait until they crack. By the silence. I'm hoping it's a tactic. And not... There, something. Yes. Sounds almost like... hiccups. They're bad luck. They defied me. Now they must pay the price. Drop more depth charges! How do you cure hiccups? With a shock. If you don't stop. Charges. Release oil and debris. We'll play dead. Break up of enemy vessel. We got them. Ah. Nelson. He knows nothing about submarine warfare. <laughs> they are dead. But there's oil and debris floating in the water. Which they released themselves. They're just plain dead. It's very intriguing. They're fighting a textbook encounter. Doing just what I'd do in their place. Prepare to dive. dive. Something's getting closer. Much closer. It's the naughty lass. Frank, the silent tactic didn't work. The octopus is after us again, and we'll never outrun. Are there any more ideas in the guide? Release noise boys. What? They're bits of metal foil that confuse the enemy sonar. We can release them via the fuel hatch. And you should dive deeper as well. Right down to the ocean floor. But the spicer wasn't designed to take those depths. Look, Frank helped design this thing. That's good enough for me. Thank you, Oscar. Good luck. Yes. Good luck. <clears throat> I'm taking her down. The naughty lass is still following. Gaining on us. Oh, this is getting beyond a joke. A noise boy deep dive. My own unique tactic. The one I invented. They couldn't possibly know that. <sighs> Continue the dive. Weapons locked onto enemy sub. But she's not built for the deep seas. And there's a bomb on board. 
this madness will get us all killed. You're wrong. I am the octopus and I'm having a whale of a time. I don't get it. So the noise boys didn't work. I'm playing silent. It's like they're following each other's moves exactly. Sir, I've seen this transmission frequency somewhere before. If you have a plan, just do it. If this is the octopus, I want you to listen to me. Charlton. We're alive. Cousin Frank. Yes. The octopus is unsinkable. There's no trace of you. What on earth are you playing at? I'm not playing at anything. Really doing what needs to be done. What needs to be done is for you to stop putting my agents and the world in danger. You're gonna get us all killed. Perhaps that's a price worth paying. I don't believe I'm hearing this. Is this the kid I grew up with? Went on snorkeling holidays with? Built mini subs in your dad's garage? I wanted to change the world. Save the oceans, but not like this. Please, surrender to my team before it's too late. I'm sorry, Frank. Your team stands between me and the salvation of the seas. That is three. Goodbye. Well, that went well. I said all along you were too close to this mission. Except this might just give us an edge. Team, it's Frank. I've spoken to the octopus. He won't listen to reason. We know. He's insane. Maybe. But I know how we can defeat him. How? And how come you suddenly have the unsigned track on him? Because he's my cousin. What? I know. Now listen. There is a way out of this. But it means one of you taking a huge risk. I got the blueprints for the naughty lass. I found a weak spot. There's just a chance. Locking on to targets. Take out the octopus first. I'll call you when I'm on board. Uh, what are you doing? Frank's plan. This one's down to me. But you can't go one-on-one -on -one against the octopus and his crew. Carrie's right. She's the fighter and I'm the captain. It should be one of us. So what about the nuclear warhead? Who's going to put that out of action if I'm not there? I've got them right where I want them. This time there'll be no escape. And finally... I'll be free to create my world of water! It isn't gonna happen. You! But this is impossible! How did you get on board? By the decompression chamber. Your security has more leaks than the Titanic. Thief, arrest her! Uh, one false move, and the lobster gets it. This is MI9. Your submarine is under our control. Commence evacuation procedure immediately. I'll never abandon the naughty lass! I'll go down with her! No, you're not. You're coming with me. I'm taking her up. We've got no choice. The naughty lass's engines have stopped. Who did it? Mission accomplished. We're bringing the octopus in. Yes! Yeah. <laughs> oh, what's wrong, Lila? It won't let me go skip it because I don't have my body vest and knee pads. Oh. I used to love skipping. Come with me. Actually, do you mind if I have a little go? Mrs. King. 
our own regulations are quite clear on the punishment for um, perilous play. Oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> it may mean a few small changes as you go about your daily business. But please remember, this is all about keeping you safe. But it was only for a moment... Perhaps you'll take the time to reflect on whether or not all these rules have been a good idea. But I... Oh. <sighs> Eve's been arrested and an MI9 disposal team are dealing with the bomb. Well done, T. When did you realise the octopus was your cousin? When you were fighting the naughty lass. Both sides used exactly the same tactics. Charlton was the only other person who knew the tactics in that guy. The family thought you were lost at sea. We searched everywhere. How could you do that to us? I'm sorry. Why didn't you vanish in the first place? It wasn't meant to happen like this. It started with conservation, but the seas were still being exploited. Someone needed to do more! Firing a nuclear bomb wouldn't have done much for local fish life. I wanted to create a giant marine park. But no one was listening. There are no excuses for what you've done. I'm sorry, Frank, for everything. Yes. <clears throat> Well, you'll have plenty of time to reflect on the error of your ways. Thank you for saving the team. That was down to Rose. And a good captain. Well, no octopus makes a sucker out of us. <laughs> Mrs King, why are you out here? Never mind that. I want you to do something very important for me. There's something I have to do. Not more rules. Too much safety is bad. <laughs> this afternoon, I'm taking you all to a proper swimming pool. <laughs> One with a high diving board. <gasps> and we're going to have some fun. In fact, what are we waiting for? Let's go there right now. Follow me. 